All right, tonight we are trying something really cool. My wife got me for Father's Day. Dying to try it. It's the Whistle Pig. <laughs> How cool is that? Come on, it's Whistle Pig. <laughs> um, that's the 10 year straight single barrel Whistle Pig. <laughs> Just fun to say, Whistle Pig. Um, this one here is kind of unique. It is, well, for one thing, they're out of Vermont. Um, from what I've read on the internet, it's Canadian barreled whiskey shipped to Vermont where it sits on a farm and finishes aging. That's what I've got. I'm probably wrong, <laughs> which happens quite often. Um, but this bottle here, uh, their barrel, uh, single barrel, uh, this is, if you can see it from specs, um, they actually pick the barrel they want bottled. Um, so this is unique to specs. Another liquor company will go say, I want that barrel and they put their names on the sides. Um, but yeah, uh, interesting label. Come on, it's a, it's a whiskey pig. She's like, whatever. <laughs> so let's try it out. Um, this comes in at 106.4 proof. Single barrel, uh, straight rye whiskey. So, this is going to be one of my top shelf ones. Uh, a little pricey. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Uh, well for, what is it? Um, 750 milliliters, it ran us $84. I plus don't think tax. it was that much. It was $83.90 something. I know what. Paid for? Or you paid for it? How? I paid for you it. You paid for it. I paid cash for it. <laughs> it wasn't eighty-three dollars. It was like fifty something. No, it was eighty-three. I know. It was behind the shelf. I know. It was behind the glass. That and the other. It was eighty-three dollars. Okay, so eighty-five. Well, okay. Yeah, when you count in the other. It was one hundred and twelve with that other thing. Yeah. You're saying that, that was twenty-five. Okay. And then there's tax. We'll agree to disagree. <laughs> this is $85. <laughs> I don't care what it says. It said $83.98 okay. in the case. So she's tripping <laughs> balls. Tripping balls. And I'm we're going to. stop buying your stuff. So that's what's going to happen. <laughs> we're going to make a mixed drink with this. I uh, found it on their website. It's called the Tropical Ryland. <laughs> Stick your dose in your drink. Oh, okay. Right off the top, you pick up the oak. Um, like a caramel. You, you can tell the age in the barrel because it really picks up the, the oak in the char characteristics. Um, the anise that we talk about every now and then. You can smell that in there. Um, you can smell a little bit like a, a pepper and kind of like an orange rind. Just... But you can pick up the, the alcohol, the, the heat from the alcohol just from smelling it. So it's probably going to be a, one of those get you ones. Okay. <laughs> Get ya? Does it get ya, baby? It does get ya. Ooh. It is smooth in a certain way. That alcohol and spice get you right up front. Um, it is a little hot. Um, you pick up the, the oak in the barrel. Um, Kind of like a cherry too. It, 
it's like a cherry wood. It's not like a sweet cherry. It's like a cherry flavored wood that you'd barbecue with. Okay. That kind of a, a, a cherry flavor, not not a cherry cherry, but like a cherry wood flavor, like a sweet wood. Um, and that's it. The caramels, the vanilla, um, and the the oak. I mean, you can really pick those up. Um, but if it's in an oak barrel, how do you taste cherry wood? I, it's it's like it's not like a sweet cherry. It's it's like say a fruited wood that you would taste. But it's in an oak barrel. Okay, really, <laughs> I couldn't tell you why. I really don't know. I don't make the stuff. I don't. <laughs> we're totally oh, we're totally end users. We're not bartenders. We're not distillers. We're not brewers. We're the guys that buy it, come home and drink it, and get all weird so <laughs> we're giving you our opinions not hers because <laughs> she's back there all mouthing it I'm not ever buying you anything else <laughs> I want to keep my coin for me <laughs> <laughs> but it's really good um, you can tell it's been it's aged because it's got a lot of the characteristics from a, like an old barrel it it really you can really taste that the oaks and and the wood part of it <sighs> Ooh. i probably should have brought a ice cube does it hurt to breathe now kill some of the heat but once the heat goes away, you can get a lot of flavors. So, is it worth the $85? I would say yeah. I mean, it's a good, solid rye whiskey. I would say no, because I'm upset now that I spent my heart and <laughs> money on you. Because <laughs> you're mean to me. Alright, anyways, we're going to make the Tropical Ryland. And the only problem we're going to have, it says the whiskey with mint infused. And I wasn't going to soak mint in the whiskey because we always open our bottles on air. Um, so we're just going to add a touch of the mint syrup. Just a touch. Just a tad. Okay. That, that, that should do it. All right. For this drink. Ugh. We're gonna have ounce and a half of whiskey, and I'm making hers too. So that's gonna be three ounce for us, but it's an ounce and a half. I gotta kinda hurry, because it says it crushed, crushed ice. But it is a good whiskey. It still lingers, it got a little heartburn out. It's a little hot. It's the whistle pig. All right. Now, uh, pineapple juice. One ounce. Stop <laughs> pouring all over the place. Here, I'll, I'll do the list over here. So the Whistle Pig, the Dole, um, our fresh squeezed half ounce of lemon juice. I'm squeezing it right now, it's fresh squeezed. Freshly squeezed. And then this is this is the kicker. We found this finally. Uh, it's almond or greet, right? Or great or greet or or greet. This this is kind of hard to find, but that's what the drink calls for. It's the uh, or greet. O r g e a t. Um, Online it said Walmart sold it. Yeah, we went to the Walmart. We went to 
They did not sell we it. We went to Walmart, we went to HEB, we finally went to Specs, and they had it. Okay, so this is going to be a quarter ounce of the Orgreet. Orgreet. <laughs> I got to taste this by itself. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's clear I couldn't tell how full it was. <laughs> Did you fall down and hit your head today? Not today. Here. That's a different taste. What does it taste like? Because it looks like lemonade. It's like a little off almond sugar. Oops. Okay. So it was a quarter ounce of the Ogreet. And then, oops, fresh wheeze. Put that right here. <laughs> and it's sent for the infused. So we're just gonna do a drop of the mint syrup. That's the infused part. Okay. <laughs> ah! End users, not bartenders. <laughs> okay. That's what we're using for ingredients. So it says shake. Oops, covered it up. Uh, fill with crushed ice, which we did previously. Uh, shake all ingredients. There's crushed ice in that cup, in that shaker. No, it said. Oh shit. Maybe that's what it meant. <laughs> I'm leaky. Man, I got a mess today. I am losing it. What are you laughing over there for? <laughs> You're so not a bartender. <laughs> it's just the incompetence and stupidity right now. It's funny, that's all. <laughs> Anyways, I got this stuff like all over the bar now. There should be some left. I think it looks like the picture. If you go on their website, and I'll have it in the description. I think we got it pretty damn close. It looks like uh, orange juice, like watered down orange juice. No, it looks like a tropical ryland. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, but we do have fresh mint that we get from our yard. It's the chocolate mint. And of course, I nailed it every time. <laughs> Just his badass. That's what the picture looks like. That's what the drink is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you see anywhere back here, bartender, no. <laughs> I'm laughing because when I have you put away, I'm going to use these videos as evidence. <laughs> Just have me put in the shrink house. Here, try this. You're gonna outlive me anyways. Uh-uh. I'm gonna die at the same time as you because I don't wanna be alone. <laughs> and there's nobody else on this planet that I like other than the children. We don't and like them either. Let's face it. Honestly, I don't think I could spend 24 hours locked in a room with them. Ooh. It's not bad. It's different. You can hear the wind howling in the background. You can still taste the characteristics of the whiskey. Is that what I'm tasting? Because I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah. You can taste the characteristics of the whiskey. You get, but they're very tim, timid, timid. There's something in here that's got a twang to it. No, it's not a lemon twang. Mm -mm. Okay, well I can taste the hints of that. Um, the pineapple juice. That you would. There's no way you would taste that. So, um, but. The 
pineapple juice, you taste a little bit of lemon, you can taste this. You can't taste really any of the mint. You know what, you can smell it because you put that sprig in there. Well, yeah. So you can crunch it up too. I didn't do the smash. I should have done the smash part. It doesn't say smash, but I should have done it anyways. I'll smash you later. You smash me later? You promise. She always says so. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, that's the whistle pig, which, come on, it's fun to go out and ask for it. Can I have the whistle pig? They look at you like, what? He's wearing a little suit. The little pig on there, is, he's got a suit on. Um, but it's actually a real farm out in Vermont. Um, the owner, or one of the owners, from what I gather, worked for some other distillers before he started this. Um... No, it's it's good. Uh, it's it's a little hot, but I bet with an ice cube it would be spot on, um, as a, as just a sipper. Uh, but with the drink, I know we don't really make a lot of drinks with whiskeys, um, but this is pretty good. It's summer, hot. So do, and don't start with the water because I didn't say nothing about your artwork. I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell what you're thinking. You're thinking, she had to be drinking more water. This is good for like a nighttime barbecue. We're great. Anyways, like, share, and subscribe. Um, it's a good before going to the club. Like, to get you. When have we been to the club? I'm just thinking about like when I was younger. Cause you, <laughs> you have to go get, you, no, you have to. Back when they, they had wooden wheels on your Horse and carriage? Shut up. I'm not that old. <laughs> no, I just mean like when I was younger and I would go to the club, me and my girlfriends, we would, you know, pre drink. Pre, your yeah, we pre great We pre game because we weren't sure if we were going to get drinks bought for us or not. And we all had so like, like cheap. a cheap. You were broke. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, super <laughs> Let's get drunk before we go to the club. That way we're good to go. Exactly. <laughs> but this would be a good drink for that. Plus, it looks like orange juice. And here so I just hung out when I was younger at the liquor store, hopping for people to buy it because I was too young. So you could probably get away with putting this in a water bottle, even. No, it looks. Like, it's not gonna cheap. It looks like water down OJ. Okay. Anyways, we'll argue after. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. We'll be back Wednesday for something. I don't know. We haven't got it yet, but we will have something by Wednesday. Yeah, we haven't picked out the beer yet. I, I think we need some beer suggestions. We do, but... Uh, we're done for the day! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching, and give us a like, and leave us a comment. How awesome I am. Later, y'all.